Hey guys, what's up? My name is Mixler, okay? And in this video I decided I wanted to talk about something that I personally absolutely love, which is, well, I could talk about my favorite anime, my favorite manga, I could talk about my favorite... whatever. But I decided I want to talk about something very particular for a very particular reason. My favorite studio, because, well, my favorite studio is Gynax, which is an interesting thing because Gynax, I won't say it's really hated in the anime community, so it's not really that controversial, but they're a little bit more controversial for being a number one pick because of their very popular Gynax endings. If you know what I'm talking about, yeah, it's a, uh, it's a, just a small issue. If you don't know what a guy next ending is, I'm not going to spend too much time, but let's just say they're not good endings. And they're really popular to be in guy next anime, like Pain, Stock, and Regret Belt, and Neon Genesis even, Gunning being the two best examples. But, I want to talk about the three main reasons why I love Gynax as much as I do. Because there's three very specific reasons. First of all, one thing I love about Gynax, and probably the most well-known thing that has Gynax stand out, is where their enemy is originated from. Because, unlike your traditional Sunrise, or, um, Toei, or whatever, Instead of animating a already existing series, like a manga, a light novel, or even a video game, most, and all of the really popular, anime that Gynax animate are completely new. The anime that's made is the source material, and then it gets like manga adaptations, which are almost always worse than the anime. <laughs> like, um... Like, absolutely some of the worst manga out there are the manga adaptations to some of the uh, Gynax anime, like the Painting Stock and Regretta Build manga, or the Gurren Lagann manga. Trust me, I, they're not good. But, obviously I'm talking about the anime, which are, well, except for the uh, questionable endings, are rather great. In fact, I would be willing to say that, in my personal opinion, some of the anime that Gynax has made, especially Gran Lagan, Fully Cooly, and Fans Like Me are some of the best anime series we have gotten. And at least in their own respective genre, though I don't know what genre Fully Cooly would be considered, in their own respective genre, these are some of the most popular anime, no question about it. For the mecha genre, Girl Lagan and even Gelanin are right up there with like Gundam. Which is kind of a big deal because that's almost like saying an anime for a shonen that anime is right up there with Dragon Ball. But then you have the com the uh, comedy side of things with Pain Song and Garden Build. Which, for those who don't know, I, I'm stupid, but it's a comedy. <laughs> which is right up there in popularity, or okay, maybe a little bit less, but is about, I would say, as well known as Niji Joe, which is without a doubt the number one comedy anime from what I have seen. So, they are really, really really good anime. So, but, the other two points are reasons for why they're good anime. Or at least why I like them as much as I do. I will go ahead and say this first point is not so much as true with Gr not Gr not Gr with uh, Evangelion as it is with the other three. And yes, I'm mostly focusing on those four anime that this video, even though Gynax has made more just because they're like the most well-known ones. But, 
Oh god. But this first, well, second point is more true with the girl and Argon for the cooling and paints I'm going to build. Which is. their anime. I know. It sounds pretty weird. Almost stupid. But what I mean is. When most people think of anime or really Japanese media in general, a really common thing is to think about just how unique it can be due to the fact that it's animation based with anime. I mean, the most popular anime in the world is about aliens that can destroy planets, Dragon Ball. So, what am I trying to get at? This is really weird, wacky, yet fun vibe that anime is known for giving off, and these three anime embrace that in a way that makes them stand out, especially in their own particular genres. Again, I don't know what genre the clue is, because it's just that weird and that wacky, I mean. I'll, I'll be upright and say for the clue is the most, like the weirdest, but most absurd at the same time, out of these three. Because of just how much it almost blurs the line of its genre. Because I said it a few too many times, but I seriously mean I have no idea what genre you would consider for the under. It's kind of a comedy, kind of an action kind of a lot of things. And then for mecha anime, I don't want to go into detail for spoilers, but Grumman Lagon gets kind of crazy. And then do I need to explain any more for uh, Penny's talking about God about? I think the name gives off enough. So the final point, and the third point, and the reason why I think Gynex is as great as it is, stems off the simple fact that it's... I'm a genius in my mind, absolutely blanked. This was like the top reason in my mind went. Wow. Wondrous. I remember. I'm, I'm so professional. The final reason, and a reason that does include Evangelion, is the soundtrack. Oh my god, Gynax has some of the best soundtracks in anime, and if you ask someone what their favorite opening is, or their favorite uh, background, like track of music, their favorite OSTs, you very well will hear at least one Gynax anime. I mean, the most common ones from what I've seen are, uh, Evangelion for its opening a cruel angel's thesis and for Likuni. But personally for me, Penny Sakura God about has the best soundtrack out of the four. And Golden Lagon still has a great soundtrack as well, just not as great as the other three. Whatever. And I think that, especially considering how unique the anime are, to have soundtracks that actually feel like they fit comes off as something incredible, just a completely new experience. They can only be topped by one other brand, which you kind of probably expected to be brought up in this video. It wouldn't be surprising. For those who don't know, um, I don't want to go into details of how this happened because I don't remember the details, but somehow uh, Gynax had a broken off and has another studio made, or like people that worked at Gynax made in the studio, or something called Trigger. Trigger? Almost everything I just said could be said about Trigger, or at the very least, their number one biggest anime of all time, which is Kill the Kill. So, I believe. I could be wrong with this, but I believe Trigger are the ones that made Darling in the Franks, but I haven't really watched Darling in the Franks, so I can't say much about it, even if it is true. So... Nah, I don't know.
But anyways, so yeah, I uh, guess that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't know why you would. I just kind of wanted to talk about Gynax because I love Gynax. This probably is not the most entertaining of videos. But hey, whatever. If you did watch the all of it and enjoy it, feel free to check out my other videos. I try to make videos regularly and I know the quality of my videos audio is terrible right now. I'm trying to get a better mic. So I guess I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.